So many times after we pull somebody's credit score and we send them a copy of it, they say, no, that's not my score. I just looked online or Credit Karma or my credit card statement told me that my score was XYZ and that score is always almost higher than the score that we presented. And so it's super frustrating for people who are applying for a mortgage and they're like, why is the credit score that you're looking at different than the one on my on Credit Karma? Well, it's because there's a difference between a FICO score and a Vantage score. In fact, there's a big difference. And guess what? The FICO scores are almost always lower than the Vantage scores, what you see online or credit card statements. And so I get it. It can be super frustrating. But I wanted to take the time to record this video to show you some of the differences. You can literally Google what is the difference between FICO and Vantage scores and see it yourself. But I wanted to record this video for you so I can show you the differences between the two. And by the way, there's like over a thousand different scores. Yeah, it's super frustrating, I know. A mortgage lender pulls very specific FICO scores, whereas your car dealership might look at different scores and the furniture shop down the street might look at different scores. And guess what? The mortgage lenders, Fannie and Freddie and Jenny, they require, do you think, the most conservative or the most loose guidelines? Yeah, it's going to be the most conservative. So likely your lowest FICO score is going to be one that a mortgage lender pulls because we're super strict. We're lending thousands of dollars. We're going to use a very conservative FICO score. So let's look at the differences. So some of the differences are going to be your FICO score, just so you know, they sell their information to lenders like mortgage lenders, auto shops, things like that. A Vantage score was actually created by the three agencies. They saw how much money FICO's, the FICO was making, so they created their own and they sell it to people like you. So do you think that they're going to make the scores look better or worse? It's like when I go into a department store and I can try on these really small pair of jeans and it's like, if that number is lower than the department store down the street, I'm gonna like this one better because I can fit into these super small jeans. It's kind of the same theory. That's exactly what they do. The FICO scores range from 300 to 850. Normally it's around 350 to 850. They've done some like 2.0 and 3.0 where it can go even higher, but on average the range is between 300 and 850. But look at this. The Vantage score ranges from 500 to 990. So the lowest score is a 501 versus the 300. That means when you're looking at Credit Karma or your credit card statements, things like that, that score is naturally going to be higher because the range is already starting out higher. And then this is how they look at the, when, if we were to take a pie chart and dissect how a FICO score is uh, determined and how a Vantage score is, a FICO has five different factors, whereas the Vantage has six. And you can see a little bit of them here. You've got payment history. So FICO will rate the 35% on payment history, whereas Vantage is only 28. Credit utilization, uh, that's 30% versus 23%. Length of credit history, 8% versus 15. So you can see the differences there. So how they weight what's on your credit report is also different from the ranges. If I was to give you a synonym way of looking at this, it's kind of like FICO is like Apple and Vantage is like your Androids. Apple only works with Apple. They only want to work with Apple. It's very, very uh, tight knit community. Whereas Vantage is like an Android. They can work with Samsung or LG and, and that kind of stuff. That's kind of how I would look at the two, but just so you know, a mortgage lender looks at three very specific FICO scores and will always look at the middle score of your three. So you have Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion. We know there's a high and there's a low. We don't average them. We take the middle score. And if there's two people on the loan, we look at both middle scores and then we use the lower of the two, no matter what your income is, no matter what your assets are, if there's two people on the mortgage loan, we have to look at the lower of the two middle scores. Yes, again, mortgage lenders are going to fall to the conservative because we're literally lending hundreds and thousands of dollars. So Fannie and Freddie and Jenny, they set these rules. Mortgage banks have to abide by them. Like it or not, I call it the golden rule. Whoever's lending the money writes the rules. But if you have any questions about this, again, you can Google FICO versus Vantage, and you'll see all kinds of stuff pop up. So if you have any questions, you know how to get a hold of me. You can call, text, email, even book an online appointment with me by going to my homepage on my website, which is yourmortgagenerd.com. Take care.